Okay, in this video, we are going to build a LoRa antenna. Now, LoRa stands for long range, so it's a low power, long range platform. Now, in the United States and Canada, the LoRa system operates on the 902 MHz to 928 MHz ISM band, which is a license free band. Now, when you buy your LoRa modules, your LoRa radio modules, they usually come with a helical antenna, which is not a very efficient antenna. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a more efficient antenna. It'll be a quarter wave monopole ground plane antenna. You can see it here. So all you need is a chassis mount, female, end connector. And we're going to solder in four radials into the mounting holes and a radiator into the center. Now this is also the same type of antenna, but this is at a higher frequency. This runs on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. You can see as we go from 2.4 gigahertz to 902 to 928 megahertz, that the antenna gets bigger. So all we need to get is some Romex electrical wire like this here and, and strip out the copper and we cut four radials quarter wavelength long and one radiator quarter wavelength long so the five pieces of wire will be the same length and then we solder them into the connector and we have ourselves a quarter wave monopole ground plane antenna. Okay here's the formula for calculating the lengths of the radials in the radiator for the 902 megahertz to 928 megahertz ISM radio band. So we'll start at the low end at 902 megahertz. So we take 2832 and divide it by 902 megahertz. We get 3.139 inches. That equals 7.97 centimeters, which is a quarter wave length for our radials and radiator. Now if we go to the high end, 928 megahertz, so we take 2,832 divided by 928 megahertz, we get 3.052 inches, which equals 7.71 centimeters. Now you can see the difference between the high end and the low end is only about 3 millimeters. So you could cut it anywhere in between of those two lengths, and she'll still resonate no problem with a VSWR less than 2. Now in other countries, they use 433 megahertz for the LoRa system. So all you have to do is plug in 433 megahertz into this part of the equation and calculate it the same way. So what I did, I, I cut all my lengths for 8 centimeters and, and then I would solder them all into my connector. Then I do my fine tuning by trimming them to get my VSWR less than two, 2 to 1. Okay, after you solder in your four radials onto your connector, you could bend them down at a 45 degree angle from the horizontal plane of the connector. Now increase the input feed impedance of the antenna from 37 ohms up towards 50 ohms, which will give you a better match to your radio. Now if you buy a good quality connector, say from Amphenol or Amp, it will be silver plated and you'll be able to solder in these four radials no problem. But if you buy a knockoff, it won't be silver plated and the solder will not stick. So what you could do, you could get little eyelet, crimp eyelets and put your radials in there and then you could get a bolt and nut and you could bolt them on uh, to your connector that way and then solder in your, your radiator or you could use a coupler method you could buy these little couplers uh, from the RC store so what it has is two screws so one screw connects up to the connector other screw holds the wire and you could attach that on to, to the connector and then you don't have to do any soldering so after you build your antenna now you could get a end connector to SMA because most likely you're going to have a SMA a connector uh, uh, coming out of your uh, LoRa module and you just attach that to the bottom of the antenna and then attach the cable from here to your LoRa module and then you got yourself a little quarter wave monopole antenna. Okay now you know how to build a quarter wave monopole ground plane antenna for your LoRa modules now in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you some other ideas for LoRa antennas. Now this is a mixing bowl. It's a metal mixing bowl I got from the dollar store. And I drilled a hole in the bottom. And I installed a UHF female to and female adapter. And you can see on the bottom is my UHF female. So this part here would be my ground plane. And down here on the edge would be my radials. So basically there's lots of radials. It's one solid radial. Now for the top, for my radiator, I've got a banana plug. I soldered in the length of wire for my radiator. Now a banana plug will actually fit into a UHF female 
connector. It just fits in like that. So that's my radiator. So now I can cut different lengths of my radiator for experimentation. So here's a here's a longer one. I just have to plug it in and attach my feed line to the bottom. That goes to my LoRa module. Let's call it Cantana. So this is my Cantana antenna for my LoRa module. Okay, here's another 900 megahertz antenna that you could connect to your LoRa radio. Now this is made by Maxrad or PCTEL. It's the MLPV800 and the bandwidth of this antenna is 806 megahertz to 960 megahertz. So it covers the ISM band. Now with this antenna it's short, it's compact, and it's waterproof so you can use it out outdoors. And it just unscrews from its mount and all you need is a three quarter inch hole. You can see inside there's your center conductor and there's a washer in there, a rubber washer. And this is our collar. If you unscrew the collar you can see there's an o-ring on the bottom and that will seal out any water getting into your into your project enclosure. So all you need is a three quarter inch hole like that into your, into your enclosure and then feed uh, the connector through, put the collar on and then apply your antenna. So that's another antenna that you could use for your LoRa radio. Now at 900 megahertz, antennas become pretty small, so we could actually etch an antenna on a PC board. So here's an example of an inverted F antenna, which is etched on the PC board. Now the roots of this antenna go back to the slot antenna. So what we see here is copper, copper on a, on a PC board, that's all copper here. And from here to here is our ground plane, so it's a quarter wave in height. And L equals a quarter wavelength at a desired operating frequency. So here's our radiator, it's a quarter wavelength long. And the, the width of it is L over 10. The height of it is L over 3.5. And the feed point is 2 thirds L. And that will give us our 50 ohm uh, feed point. And here's our input connector. So we could solder on an IPX connector. So the edges here would be soldered into the ground plane and a center conductor would be fitted up to the feed point. So it's a very simple PC board antenna. Easy to make, cheap to make, and easy to tune. So this is another example of an antenna for a LoRa radio. Okay, here's an example of a PC board antenna. So this is an inverted F antenna, but it's been bent. It's been bent in half. So here's our ground, and here's our feed point. So that's our 50 ohm feed point. And this will be the radiator, and you can see the, it, it was bent, so it would fit on, on this PC board. So that's just another example of how simple it is to make a, a PC board antenna. So now all you have to do is put a, a waterproof enclosure, a dome, over this PC board. And we got ourselves a nice, uh, inexpensive antenna that we could use on our LoRa system. Okay, so there's a few examples of some antennas that you could use on your LoRa system. Now when you're testing your LoRa modules on your bench, you could use the helical antennas. But for, for long distance testing, you could use some of the antennas described in this video. Now the best one would be the quarter wave monopole. That's probably the easiest one to build and the, and the best results. So I hope this video will give you some information how to get started on an antenna system for your LoRa radio.